Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the new streak, the modded streak, the modded character streak. People have said that they'd like to see me playing my modded characters and therefore as part of the new streak we will be playing exclusively modded characters. And as such I have got a few new ones. So we have Dreamguard, we have the Unbidden and Nabu and their tainted varieties. We have Steven. Um, of course, we have some of the regulars here. We have um, the alternate blue baby. I don't know what you want to call him. Um, Red baby, I think he is. We have Delirium. We have May. Um, we have Henry. We have Elijah. Um, we've got Abel and Adam still here. We've got Boom. We've got Bale. We've got... Um, is that is that all we got? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. So we got we got quite a few to play as here. We got quite a few to play as. So really, I think I think we go in with a classic. It's been a long, 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 long time since I played as May. Um, and she's a pretty fun character. She can be pretty, pretty be a bit wacky. And also with the uh, addition of some of these modded characters like the Unbidden and stuff, we've got a whole host of new items. Uh, I've I set them to automatically be unlocked as well, so that we can. Uh, experience all of the new stuff in its full capacity. Uh, I think that'd be quite fun. But yeah, Maze has always been an interesting character to me. Um, she did get some updates when Repentance came out, but she's been one of the OG, OG modded characters, and especially one of the OG modded characters that's got something really unique going on. And there's some, some pretty interesting synergies you can get going with these... Uh, with these tiers that we've got going on here. So you can see we've got sort of the outer ring of large tiers in the inner ring. The more tiers ups we get, by the way, very good trinket. The more tiers ups we get here, the um, the better for us because it allows us to um, get more tiers around us, like rotating around us. Um, I don't exactly know what spawns the small tiers, but we'll sort of learn in due course. Dude, this game's just like, hey, would you like your puzzle to be complete in one floor? Why, yes, yes, I would. Um, but yeah, really interesting character, and yeah, I, I want to just ask as well, what other modded characters would you guys want to see? Now, I will just say, I have seen plenty of requests for, um, for Epiphany, and I'll admit, I'm probably not going to add Epiphany anytime soon. Min, so there's, there's two big reasons. One, the mod is just laggy. It just causes so much more lag than any other mod that I've ever used and that was the main reason I got rid of it to begin with. The other reason, I simply just don't enjoy the characters that that, mod's ad that that mod adds. They're all way, way too complicated. They're just every character has some like unique gimmick that has like six other unique gimmicks within it and I just, I just want to play the game. I don't want to I don't want to have to watch a 20 minute video on how to play the character just to fully utilize all of their abilities. And I don't want to have to be constantly thinking about how to best get the full advantage out of my character. I realize I do have some characters like that already on, but those are sort of a rarity. I don't want to add like six new characters that all do that. And also as well, just thematically, I'm not a big fan of the theming of like a different version of tainted characters. I don't know. It's just not really my bag. Um, so I apologize if you guys really wanted to see that, but it's probably not something I'm going to add uh, soon. It's probably not something I'm going to add to this series. Um, this could be interesting. I mean, this is the start of a streak, so Glass Cannon's pretty sketchy uh, as as it goes. Glass Cannon's pretty sketchy. Let's have a little look here. Shoots a large peer. Yeah, we know that. Uh, take damage, removes two hearts. Um, I'm... I'm because because we're on a zero streak right now, I just there's not really any risk. I might as well try it. Yeah, that's, that's, that's pretty good. It's pretty good. We like that. We will be obviously min maxing and so forth. Uh, one thing I want to check is, can we fill up? Yes, we can fill up our trinket with a red heart. Even though this character can't normally have red hearts, we have the ability to fill up our trinket with a red heart. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm liking that. I'm liking that. We've got an XL floor here as well, so we've got a good bit to explore here. So far, not a, not a bad run at all. We've got our shop here as well. We've got a little bit of money. Buying a soul heart would not be a bad idea. Uh, we got the corroded uh, battery, the acid battery, which doesn't do a, a whole lot for us right now, I have to admit. So I'm not going to grab that at the moment. I will, however, bomb this guy. Um, and I'm going to be just throwing bombs here, there, and everywhere in the hopes of getting my uh, secret rooms. 
I'm not entirely sure where the second secret room will be, but I'll, uh, I'll give it a look. There we go, we found it already. But unfortunately, this isn't a heart we can interact with as this character. The, by the way, as well, the streak is almost undoubtedly not going to end up being as long as our other streak, because modded characters do tend to be a lot more gimmicky and have a lot more trouble staying alive from my past experience. So there is definitely going to be chances of us dying early on, but I will still... Th th basically, the difference between this series and my regular series is this one I'm going to try my hardest to min-max and get a win. The other series is just going to be having fun and messing around. That's, that's essentially what it comes down to. Right. Don't know why I'm bothering to blow these up, but I am. And then in here we've got... Ooh, hello. We've got something different here. Um, once a room can create a mirror dimension door on the wall indicated by a door outline, mirror rooms regenerate all pick up obstacles and enemies, item pedestals are not registered, allowing refighting the boss for an extra reward. Ooh, see this is a tricky one because obviously glass cannon's really good, but that's, that's definitely more interesting. So I think I'm going to go fight the boss with glass cannon for the extra damage. And I think I'm going to come back and grab that because I think that's just more interesting. Um, and also it's obviously not as large of a risk to me, which is nice. Um, I like the idea. It's kind of like a red room adjacent. It's not quite red rooms, but it's, uh, it's close. Yeah, we've got to be careful about getting hit here just because, um, we, uh, we are using the cannon. We will lose two hearts if we get hit, which we really don't want to see. Lovely stuff. And we do get some HP out of that. I think we do get uh, damage. Yes, we do. We do get damage as May for, for Black Hearts, which is rather nice. So health upgrades. And picking up, I believe picking up Black Hearts directly will give us a damage up. Which is pretty gnarly. And we get ourselves Magic 8 Ball, which is fine. We also have some new curses. You can see one there. Doubles our money. I think I'll just pop that now. Um, was there anything in our shop that we wanted to buy? I don't remember. Uh, I don't think so, because I think I would have remembered otherwise. But I'll go and check and make sure. Um, that isn't the case. Uh, it was the acid battery. No, do you know what? Do you know what? I am going to take the acid battery. I think it could be quite good with this crystal key. Also, the the, the, the leaking um, creep. Pretty nice. A pretty, a pretty nice addition to this character. Uh, but, honestly, this character, we're going to be very, very safe with the trinket that we have. The trinket is essentially an extra heart container, but in the trinket slot. But it allows us to fill it with a red heart, which this character normally cannot do. So definitely quite interesting. So, for example, here, we can do this, create a mirror, and it creates a mirror of this room exactly. Okay, cool. Okay, I get it. I just wanted to get a better understanding of how that works, and I understand it now. So, basically, if there's any room where we want to refight it for extra rewards, we can. Um, I don't know if there's going to be, like, be like best rooms to try. Uh, but we de we definitely know that we can refight the boss for additional items. So that's that's going to be our main use case, um, is refighting the boss. And I think, hopefully, the corroded battery will allow us to utilize this a little better. So what's what's this bell that we've got here? Curse of the bell. Let me go and figure out exactly what that is. Um, curse of the bell. Curse of the bell. Curse of the Bell, all Troll Bombs are golden. Okay, that is rather spicy. So if we come across Troll Bombs, they're going to be gold, which is, yeah, pretty pretty sketchy. But I think we can deal with it if that happens. Uh, we just got to hope we don't get a, a room full of Troll Bombs. But at least we're now not at severe risk of, um, of dying via uh, Glass Cannon. But at least taking that threat away from ourselves. But yeah, so as you can see with the corroded battery, we get double the charges. But every 15 seconds, we lose a charge, as you can see there. Which is, it seems really bad right now. And it seems like overall, it's going to lead to less charges. But as you get later into the game and you can kill rooms faster, it becomes much, much better. Once you get to the point where you can beat two rooms in under 15 seconds, that's when it becomes very, very good. But at the minute, it's, it's pretty terrible. Because we're going to be, uh, on average, we're going to be not gaining charges or losing charges. I, I'm really not a big fan of these enemies. They, they have a lot of health. So yeah, we get a double charge. And then in a few seconds, we'll probably lose some more charges as well. Probably not going to get a charge here, I wouldn't think. 
We only lose one charge and we gain two, so on average, we are going to be charging up our active a little bit faster regardless. It's just a little bit more weird with uh, with how we've got to do it. We, we really do need some air increase to our damage, though, because our, our damage is really letting us down right now. So, for example, with this room, I want to try out... We can open this up and refight this room in the, in the Mirror Realm. It's a really cool idea, this, to have, like, the Mirror Realm as, like, an accessible thing through an item. I like it. And then we get an extra reward for this room. Um, and I do believe we can charge our key off of the rooms we create, which is pretty darn nice. I wasn't expecting the rooms that you create to give you charges, but I suppose red rooms also give you charges, so... Well, there's our first golden troll bomb. The good thing about golden troll bombs is they're actually pretty useful for various things. So we got another one here. So we can come over here. Okay, this isn't a room we can redo. This isn't a room we Okay, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. I was hoping to redo one of these rooms here, but none of these are rooms that we can redo. Uh, rubber Cement. Interesting. Interesting. I don't exactly know what Rubber Cement does for this character. It might be a whole load of nothing. It seems like so far it's a whole load of nothing, which is a bit of a shame. I was kind of hoping there'd be uh, some sort of interesting synergy with that, but you can't always win. So yeah, as you can see as well, not all rooms are compatible with being mirror rooms. We are going to lose some charges, just some rooms not being available to us. It's okay, though. I'm, I'm still intrigued by the prospects of this item, plus the corroded battery. I think we just, like I said, need to improve our stats to get to the point where it's a little more viable, because right now it's it's not great. Uh, secret room, I'm thinking, is here. It's unfortunately not. It looked likely. And as, uh, there is other ways as well that we can work towards charges, too. It's always weird with this character, because you have to stand slightly off-center to, like, ma maximize your damage. Which is, it's just, it just feels a bit weird. So, like, for example, we can come over here, and there's a mirror room here, and we can do this. And this will let us refight this room, which I honestly don't know why I did, because this room was awful to refight. One of, one of my major concerns at the minute, actually, that I didn't even think about, is trying to actually have a charge at the end of a boss fight is going to be a little bit difficult. I think Corroded Battery is one of those items that's, it's, on paper, it seems like, I don't know why we had a Holy Mantle there. Uh, oh, oh, wait, I think when we're in the mirror room, we always get a Holy Mantle. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Um... I, it's one of those items where, on paper, it seems really good, but it's... And I keep taking it, but I don't actually think it's that good unless you have active items that kind of work with it. If you have active items that work with it really well, then it can be pretty darn good. But I think that's not always going to be the case. Oh, oh bloody hell. I go straight in here and fight a boss straight away. Unfortunately, we got a rather annoying boss that I don't think I'm going to beat in 30 seconds. I don't know if we're going to get a charge for this. Although we do, we are at a full charge now. I suppose what I could do is this. Yeah, there you go. Then I've already uh, I've already opened up the door for later. But yeah, at the minute, this character is really not not impressing me with the uh, level of damage I'm dealing. My damage uh, is is particularly very very low. Why? Okay, luckily that bomb actually did a really good job there. Good thing is we have built-in spectral that always makes characters that are a little weaker a little more okay. So this 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 mirror room's open, but I'm not sure if it'll stay open when I leave, but I obviously need to go to my angel deal first. Unfortunately, this angel deal is not very good. We did get a pretty good item out of it, so it's not bad. That's a golden troll bomb. Okay, unfortunately the mirror room does disappear, which I was I was hoping wouldn't be the case, but I think the Angel Deal is slightly more uh, preferable either way. Um, but we'll remember that for next time, and we'll try and play into that. But that's that's going to make the Corroded Battery pretty bad for us like, overall, because we're going to lose a lot of boss charges to it. It's one of those items I probably shouldn't have taken with this, but we've got to experiment, we've got to try new things, and I don't, I don't mind on a, a new streak trying something different to begin with. But basically, until we get up to a streak of like 10... The streak is valueless. We can we can die and lose it and not care. 
Uh, once we get above 10, that's when I need to start, like, really honing in and sort of paying more attention. But up until then, I think we can kind of coast along. I'm not happy with my decisions here. Oh, God. What have I done? Fuck this. I'm just going to take the damage. I don't care. <laughs> that room's well annoying. Right, in here we've got a pretty good item here. Whenever we have a curse, we gain quite a lot of extra stats, and the damage itself is uh, is going to be absolutely huge for us. Ooh, we got M. We could re-roll this into something else, but I feel like that's not in the spirit of this item. Crack that open. I really like the, the, the visuals for this uh, this item. Looks really good. Looks mighty good. You can't do the same room multiple times there, I saw as well, which is interesting to note. Yeah, Apple has been huge for us and that, that Wicked Soul there, really good as well. Where the hell's the boss? We do have Curse of the Maze here, as this floor is a little larger. Good. I should really take that key. I know- the thing is now- Oh, really? The key is gone. <laughs> I don't know where, but it's gone. The problem is now, yeah, it's going to be, I'm going to be wanting to rush all the time to keep my charges alive, which isn't ideal. Okay, we should be fine for the boss here. Do it to start with there. Chill out, you. Oh my god. Calm down with your Herman, please. He does this attack for so long. There you go. Nice and dead. Milk of Baphomet. More damage. Whoa, whoa. What the hell's going on with the music? What's all this? pretty awesome, but I have no idea where it came from and why it's so fucking loud. Cool. I guess oh, I, I left a miser heart in there. Well, that was pretty interesting. Unexpected. So this room's an actually perfect contender for a mirror room. It's super easy. Oh, right. Okay. Not what I was expecting there. Can I do double ferryman then? I'm, I'm doing a mirror room ferryman. I'm not quite sure how this is going to work. Not quite sure how this is going to work. Either way, I have a feeling this is going to be weird. I'm I'm curious how this is yeah, this is this is very strange. Right, the spiders are gonna be annoying as hell. Luckily we're getting through the rooms pretty swiftly. There's a battery there, let's leave that there. How many jumpers am I going to get here? Oh, not many. Okay, not many at all. Golden Heart there, lovely. Right, last one. Well, that was rather easy. Right, so we got our, we got our item. Rather nice. We got Fate's Reward. Or Fate, sorry, should I say. Right, now, now I want to try something. If I open this up... Hmm... <gasps> We gotta try and keep our baby alive, but I'm 
very intrigued by what this means for us. <laughs> Ooh, that's kind of nice. Take that. Okay, it was just one extra reward, but I got extra extra babies in the uh, in the cart. That's funny. <laughs> I don't think there's a, there's meant to be a way to get extras, but this was in the mirror realm. So do I have another one of these guys outside? Yes, I do, baby. Okay. This is uh this has led to some some shenanigans and a half this has hasn't it It's time to sail away again come sail away come sail away come sail away with me and there's still shit in here You fucker Tell a fragging little bitch, man. I'm not even gonna get the item now. I'm well upset about that. That was so dumb. Actually, no, to be fair, to be fair, to be fair, I've got an idea. It's okay, I've got an idea, people. This room's horrible, though. The idea's probably not gonna work due to this room killing my, my, my ghosty. Although, saying that, worked out better than expected, right. Oh wait, we don't have a we don't have a thingy room in here anymore. We used it. Damn it, I used it already. If I hadn't used that already, we could have uh, got on an extra buddy. Had a second chance. Right, I'm gonna try something. Go through here. Damn it, I was hoping there'd be an extra ghost in here. There is not. Damn you! I was really hoping I could cheese this. Either way, not a bad amount of stuff there. Shame we didn't get the second item. I'm glad we've got fate though now for the extra, uh, the extra bit of damage from the Eternal Heart that we'll get on the next floor, and of course the uh, the flight. Either way, let's go. Okay, very very intriguing run thus far. That uh, this this key. Has some intriguing uses with some runes. Very intriguing indeed. I don't think that's really a priority. I think really we only want to be focusing on it for the boss room, to be honest. I think other rooms, if we need consumables, is fine. But the vast majority, we're not going to get enough out of it for it to be valuable on regular rooms. It's all about the boss room and then the potential synergy of some other specific rooms. I think it's all about the boss room there. Oh god. This is not a room that anyone likes the look of. I had a feeling I was going to get hit there. I mean, I guess I could do this room again if I wanted to, but do I want to? Bloody hell no, I don't. I'm going to have to realise that if I get a floor without a curse, my damage is going to go down quite a bit. Tractor beam's very interesting here. I don't know how this will work. Oh, it's 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 good. It's a huge fire rate increase. And also with rubber cement, it's got some interesting stuff going on. It seems really good. It's a lot more focused fire rate, like, towards the enemy. It's a lot easier for us to uh, focus down. Okay. We've got a soul of Isaac here as well if we want to use it. I don't know where exactly it will be best to use that, but we have it it's in our back pocket. We've, we've reached the point now where uh, we're doing fine with um, the corroded battery. We're not having to worry about it. We're basically constantly able to have a charge. I've just realized as well my, uh, my trinket isn't filled with a red heart at the moment, so I need to do that. Unfortunately, this doesn't count. Oh, have we got a... Oh, no, these, these enemies just do that. I was like, if we, do we have a curse on? Because that's a curse that uh, got added by this mod. But that's just what they do. Right. Is the boss this way? No, it's not. There's the rest of our heart. Lovely. everyone? That is everyone. I'd rather keep my Soul of Isaac on me than that, to be honest, for now. Okay, this is definitely the right way. 
Ow. As if I knocked you into myself. It's just frustrating. Teleports to error room again. Rather keep my soul of Isaac on me for now. Dude, we're getting a lot of the hanging keepers right now. Like a lot and a lot. Thank god we have spectral. It's making this way easier. That open. Isaac's fork doesn't really do it for me. Okay, boss time. Dude, we are annihilating bosses. Holy shit. Soul of Isaac. I think I probably want the book, right? But then I'll fight this guy for a charge. I don't actually care about the key pieces. We'll fight him for a charge just so we can open up a mirror room in the next uh, the next room and do our boss again. Puzzle piece. A pet. Yeah, what is going on with the mirror room boss fights? Being so crazy here. Extra bit of speed up. Nice. That, that also gave us damage. I don't know why speed... Oh, uh, because we've got Max's tail or whatever it is, isn't it? I was like, why the hell did speed give us damage? That's not nothing to do with me. That's an item that we have. I'll cast the blind here. So yeah, we're at the point now where we're absolutely rinsing through most rooms and not having to worry. Especially when we get a lot of, uh, a lot of the razor blades in our shots. When we've got a lot of razor blades going, it just... We run straight through the room with, with nothing standing in our way. Don't know what we're getting here. Sad Onion's pretty good. That's going to add an extra tier to our roster. It's quite a lot of tiers up that. Take whatever that is. Unfortunately not great, but we can take advantage of it for a little bit here and get some money back. I at least want the 7 cent back that I spent on it. I mean, I can get five more cent, maybe. Come on. There you go. Oh, wait, I need to turn it back on. I left it off. Not bad, not bad. Okay. Keep pushing forward. Yeah, th th this run's pretty much uh, said and done now, I think. It's a horrible room right here. Luckily with flight, it makes short work of it. There's a luck penny in here as well, apparently. Ooh, baby. We like that. Our luck is getting to the point where it's really good now, and uh, it's very, very good for our current situation. Ooh, wee, this is good. Ah, oh, it's a different... Okay, that's interesting to know. You get different secret rooms, potentially. That's very interesting to know. Wouldn't have expected that. Oh, there's a fucking curse penny in there. Right, you know I can't be asked with all of this. Fill that heart up in there. Yeah, so we basically just don't take damage now, it's ace. Yeah, I'll buy the battery just in case I can redo my boss if need be. Now, this trinket's very, very overpowered for a character that can't normally take red hearts. Alright, we'll grab the battery just in case and we'll do our super hype music extra boss fight. I don't actually know how it's going to work with this boss fight, to be honest. I don't even know if it will work. Alright, we lost one charge. It will work, okay. So we'll take... We'll take Dark Path here, and then we'll do that, and we'll fight you again for... I'm guessing we can get Polaroid and Negative here. Music's all hyped up again. No, we just get a random item. Binky. Nice. Good stuff. Okay, our fire rate has gotten to the point where it's it's pretty amazing now. Um, and even if we don't get a curse on the floor, we'll still have good damage. But luckily, we are getting a curse on pretty much every single floor. It's very good for us right now. 
There's Genesis going off. Book of Genesis, that is. We lost our red heart. I guess I'll take the algae for later. I love that when you have the um, Milk of Baphomet, there's a chance that your your head comes off when you get that spider as, a, as an on-hit effect. Even when you don't have the spider in your head to begin with, it just suddenly appears. Should keep our eyes peeled for a red heart to fill our uh, trinket with. Very good, very nice. A beautiful way to start the streak. By the way, as well, um, I will just say that obviously, trinket, uh, trinket wise, um, thumbnail wise, not every thumbnail is going to have custom art. That is just the way it is with mods. We're not always going to have custom art available. It's time consuming slash expensive to uh, get art commissioned. So. Um, I'm not going to have it done for every single character, but some that I already have art for, I will use. Like Henry. Ow. Ooh, very nice. Book of Genesis popping off again there. Our speed to damage ratio thing's really nice as well. Getting a lot out of that. I th I'm thinking this is the right, right way to the boss. Dude, we're getting so many puzzle pieces. So, so many. We don't need to focus on room drops anymore. We've got a lot of everything. This seems about right. We're killing rooms way faster than we have any right to be. Awesome. We will quickly peek in here. I'll take a random one, why not? Sinner's Blood, and then we'll come up here and do that. I don't know what Sinner's Blood does. Double ball of bandages. Not bad to get a level 2 one, I guess. Why not? I think we're just about ready to uh, plow through the rest of this run. Hoping we can get a quick floor here. But the womb do be wombing sometimes. Yeah, I'm glad we ended up taking this mirror key. It's, it's pretty interesting. And just the ability to be able to get an extra boss item on its own is a pretty pretty interesting ability. Now, another one of these guys. Uh, we do have a contraband here. Nah. I'm not leaving Miraki behind. Although, to be fair, it would kind of be the right time to do so, but... We we're stuck with it for all this time. I think we should carry on with it. Dude, I really need to... Uh... Get a red heart to fill this void in my in my character. Getting a, a lot of pennies. Ah, there you go. Just a half red heart will do, to be honest. That blocks a full hit. I'm really glad we got Tractor Beam as well. I think Tractor Beam was really the the true enabler of this run. Once we got that, our damage kind of just spiraled out of control. Unfortunately, as I was saying earlier, we'd like to go the right way with the wound, but it's it's virtually impossible to do that on your first try. In fact, it's almost exclusively possible to do it on your last try. I went every which way but the right way. Good. Not normally a problem, but on the womb, it's, it's a big problem. -o. I don't know if, I still don't know if Rubber Cement is actually doing anything useful for us with uh, Tractor Beam or with just Maze Default Tears. It's hard to tell. Oh, we got some Burn Hearts in that room, apparently. I like the way that with those characters, like with those, um, those little 
chompy enemies. Like, so, they, they eat other enemies and then, like, fire them out. But then when there's no enemies left, they just bite the floor. And at first, I thought that was really weird that they just, like, bite the floor for no reason and, and spew. But, we're, like, stood on flesh, right? Like, this is the womb. Puzzle. You're literally stood on... Oh, really? You're literally stood on flesh. It makes sense that they can just bite the floor to grab off a hunk of flesh and throw it at you. Quickly check this out. I'll grab one of these again. Ooh, Twisted Pair, beautiful. And then we've got one of these rooms over here to fight again. With the hype music and everything. A twisted Pair is kind of an interesting uh, thing to get, especially with Tractor Beam here. Like, doubling our damage output. Lovely stuff. And we went Dark Path, didn't we? We'll go Dark Path again. Yeah, like I guess Twisted Pair is just about doubling our damage, especially with Tractor Beam, because it's like impossible to not hit all of our shots. There's something quite beautiful about it. Ooh, we got a Soiled Heart there. It's, it's kind of rare that you see those. I don't think it actually did anything for us, but it existed. For a brief time, it existed. You feel refreshed, and that's just Angel Deal Chance, which unfortunately doesn't do much for us. Oh, no, no, I think I think it was, like, counted as sleeping in a bed because it healed us. I think we got a, a cheat sheet bed sleep there. I like it. Little reshaken. Giving us some wine glass enemies, I think they're pretty cool. This bugger and his invincibility, man. And that attack that I just can't seem to fucking avoid. Okay. This has been a pretty good run, though. Pretty fun reintroduction to the, uh, to the new streak with the modded characters. I think it'll be a fun time for all. I'm hoping. Again... Wrong fucking way. Oh, we've got we've got to love this. Just pointlessly wasting time. There you go. We're in the clear. We're in the clear. A little careful of the fatso there. It's kind of an interesting idea to have. Honestly, I think those machines... I don't know why I touched it there. Oh my lord, I wish we had Brimstone. This is... something beautiful. <laughs> I love it. But yeah, I kind of think those machines should be a little more common in the late game. It's just like money dumps for various things. Because there's, there's so many active items that could be useful outside of just the room you're in, or, or just inside the room you're in. And money is just pointless at this stage in the game, apart from maybe for beggars. Otherwise, like, you barely use it, so... Could be an interesting thing to, uh... Attach onto these late game areas. Alright, Bob's brain. Do your thing. Oh, it missed. Come on now. There you go. Finally hit. Easy. I don't know when I'm going to use my allergies. I've not really decided that yet. I guess I'll use it on the lamb, but... I don't think I'll need to. Right, how will this go? It's hype certain. Certain hype time. Rubber Cement definitely is doing something. Some tears are going off and bouncing. Nice. No extra item, but the reverse version of the next floor. Why not? <laughs> Imp Soda. 
Imp Sword is pretty goddamn good with the amount of luck we have, to be honest. Especially if we get an Imp Sword um, critical on a, um, a Razor Blade. That'll be like eight times damage or something stupid. Ooh, this is a new item. I've got some Fistula boys with me. The Fistula cruise around. Now, unfortunately, we didn't see too many of the new items from the mods we have, but this is new and uh, seems pretty cool. Just fires off a bunch of fellas that go and munch things for us. I've got to, like, charge it and release it, I see. There's a charge bar above my head, look. Go! Okay, I like it's, it's basically like three big chubbies that we can kind of control a bit more. Yeah, the crits are going wild. I like it. I don't like that. Oh my lord, the damage we're outputting right now is obscene. Really? I have place a chest there after. They do kind of vibrate a little bit though, which is... I don't know, it's, it's up to them if they want to vibrate. They can do that by me, it's fine, but it's just a bit strange. They do be vibrating quite a bit. Look at those crits, baby. Don't be doing your thing where you're, you're dead but not dead. It's annoying. Oh my god. Very glad I took Imp Soda. Right, boss time. I think Algis will get the boss done in under the amount of time that we need for Algis. Oh my lord, the critties. The critties. Just a style on this fool. I'm going to do it again. Beautiful stuff. You thought he was hot shit. But I killed him twice. Right. Hope you guys did enjoy this one. A lot of fun. And yeah. I will see you guys in the next one.